I am so excited. shop today I have entirely too many things going on. I've got a solar panel here sitting here that's ready to go on the camper. Getting ready for spring here. I've got a bunch of kitchen cabinets that are built and building for my son for his kitchen. I've got some mid-century modern chairs that are going to go in our living room. Barely enough room to walk in here but the most absolutely awesome thing showed up today. And it's parts to build a wooden cedar kayak. So I've got all the, the forms there. I've got all my fiberglass, my foot pedals, stuff strewn all over the place here. This big long dude right here is what's called a strong back. It is right now 18 feet long. It showed up on a semi today. Gonna be cut down to 16 feet long, which is how long this kayak is gonna be. We got a bunch of pieces here. These are uh, part of the support system as we start building. Same here. That's what uh, those little dudes um, are what the forms all attach to. That's what those will attach to to stand up and to go along there. We've got, uh, we've got plans. We've got all kinds of directions. I bet there's 50 pages of directions here, what to do. I, uh, I cheated a little bit and I bought the kit. So what that means is that came with all of this stuff, all pre-cut. So there's all my cedar strips all ready to go. And it came with all the, you know, all the blocks, everything cut out ready. It's gonna save me probably two weeks of work just cutting all those strips and everything and, and getting everything ready. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, I just have to clear out some space to work on this thing. Um, I've been wanting to do this for about 20 years and now's the time and I've got so much in the way, I've just got to make some space. So that comes next. So step one is just to take these, uh, these blocks and just put the two and a half inch carriage bolts through them to get them ready. They're gonna fasten down onto this deck, something like that. And then that next piece will go in, attach onto here. So that's our next step. Okay, one important step here when laying out these uh, base blocks here on the strong back, if you'll notice they're all on the left of that measurement line, except for number 16, which pulls in the other way. So just remember that, that moves in that inch and a half, which essentially makes them all the same spacing. It's just uh, the way they measured that one is, is coming in. So something to look at. So I've just gone through on the whole thing, got my lines in here, I've numbered each one, and these will just line right up like that. Same with number seven, they'll line up. Number six, all the way down. So I've got them labeled. And that should work out well. I'll know which ones go in there. So a few things to pay attention to as you go. Um, this was the, the crate that must, a lot of the parts came in. And just to pay attention to, he's, he's got circles here. Joe puts all these little marks on here to tell you where to take screws out. Some on the sides, the same thing. That helps you get everything apart without breaking anything. As well as he's got little notes along other little parts here too, like on these. Uh, um, he's got two of these that are marked for the bow and the stem. You just trim these as needed. So these these uh, dotted lines are gonna be where we're gonna cut those off as needed. 
The rest of them are unlabeled, can go anywhere. They just have the center line on them. So just another thing to make sure you get those in the right positions. As promised, all of the riser blocks are now installed. They're all just put in with these uh, little dudes here. So we've got uh, just a carriage bolt, wing nut, and a washer on each one of them. They're just kind of loose in there right now because they're going to get adjusted. As I mentioned before, each one of these has a center line on it. So we're going to have to string line those to make them all line up. And if you remember, number 16 is the only one that faces the other direction. So we've got the, the wing nuts going the other direction. But if you look, we measure from that one to this one, 11 inches. That one to this one, 11 inches. So by turning that one around and moving it over, you still got that same spacing. I'm assuming there is a reason for that to be on the other side, but I don't know yet. We'll figure that out soon. Okay, so at this point, I have all of the forms attached on there. And I've just been going through, um, each one of these has like a, a reference line. You know, we can line up uh, what we lined up before all the way through. So what I'm doing right now is making sure, and I'm doing this just by eyeball because it's a curve. I want to make sure that all of those lines line up. So I've just gone back and forth about 15 times. Uh, it's hard to see it on this with the parallax and everything, but... They are all, all lined up at this point, all the way down. So next, I'm gonna check them all just to make sure again that they're at horizontal and do a little bit more fine tuning. But once that's done, it's pretty much ready to go. I did also realize that, you know, I've, I've got these uh, old saw horses that I put wheels on and I was gonna use for this. And I think I still am, but it's just a little bit too high. I'm gonna cut those down a little bit um, lower because otherwise working on this, it's just gonna be like at chin level. It's just too high up. So that's my next endeavor. Getting all these to line up was just a bit difficult. Um, I did it once, I got really close. I wasn't happy with it. I kind of came up with a whole new plan here. So. What I'm doing now is um, I've taken at each end um, and put an extension board up. I've got this level perfectly plumb. Same with the other end, I've got that plumb. And those two end pieces are set. And I've got the string line set at 16 inches, both ends. So theoretically, if I plumb everything into this, we should be really good in shape. So what I'm doing is I, uh, I took and cut a little piece of wood that if you line it up on the line on this piece, it comes up to the string, line it up, oops, gotta keep it on the same side, but line it up on that one, plumb that up, comes up to the string. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm clamping these on here like that. And then what that allows me to do clamped in position is I can take and I can move this all around exactly as I need it to be and then as long as when I lock it in it's plumb these will all follow this string line down and these horizontal lines on here will also be exactly level because I've got a, a plumb in, in a 90 degree angle right there so that's what I'm working on right now. I think it's gonna work a lot better. Yeah, so that stick method, that worked really well. You know, just, just putting that stick on there and leveling all that up. Did that on every one of them. It probably took me a half hour total to get this all set up and get them all plumbed in and, and ready. So well worth doing it this way from the start next time. Um, so now if you get down here in sight, you can see those horizontal lines on, on all those, uh, and if I get just the right spot, you can kind of see how they all line up. Just visually, if you get your, your head in the right spot, those all line up that side. Same over here. 
we line all these up, we get about the same. And then right down the top, if I sight down here, you'll see all those lines when I get to right to that point, they all disappear. That means you're right lined up that way too. So I've got everything locked in, ready to go. Uh, I guess moving on to the next step, whatever that may be.